Hey guys, it's Tech in the Classroom and I'm Brandon Wilmarth. We are going to set up your iPad by connecting it to your iTunes and iCloud accounts. So if you have a brand new iPad, District iPad, you can use your regular personal uh, Gmail, at me, whatever iCloud account you have, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, if you want to use one with just an iTunes card and set up a default and it's not linked to your personal, that's absolutely okay as well. Whatever iCloud account you decide to use, remember that all of your apps will sync between all of your Apple devices, whether it's your phone or anything. So you do want to actually merge with iCloud if you have enough available room. That means you can put your photos there, your mail, contacts, notes, Safari data, all of that. And that's all you got to do. Now, watch the previous video about uh, if you have forgotten your iCloud password, if you can't sign in, and you can do that on a computer or another iPad. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's going to allow you to do the Find iPad. And then the next thing that you want to do is probably sign into your iTunes and App Store uh, account, which is the same email, likely and that will allow you to have automatic updates with the App Store or go in and uh, take this new iPad and put all of the apps that were on your old iPad on this one. So go ahead and put in your Apple ID, the same one that you just did to sign into this iPad. And once you have that, when you go to your iTunes and App Store settings, you can automatically download music, apps, books that you have downloaded on your iPhone or other Apple devices. If you don't want to do that like me, I, I have a separate iPad, I have a personal iPad and then a school iPad, then what I do is I go into my purchased apps in the App Store and you can see all of the apps that are in the cloud but not on this device. And so you can see all you have to do is simply click on any one of those little clouds with a down dropped arrow. So I'm going to go through and download all these Microsoft apps like Sway and PowerPoint and Excel and Word. And all I have to do is quickly click them or tap on them. And whenever they're done downloading from the cloud, they'll be right there on this new iPad. So. That's it. It's really easy to go ahead and sync up a new iPad, uh, whether you have a bunch of apps or just a few that you want to get on that. So as always, check out any other videos that you need help with on our YouTube Tech in the Classroom channel or email me at brandonwilmarth at moreschools.com. Have a great day.